Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we're playing level 494 on a quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, which is a hard level where we have 32 moves to clear out 40 jelly. Now before we get started, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, however I will remind you that the button is right there, and that I put out a lot of great content from Candy Crush to Wii Party to Algadoo Marble Racing almost every day, and that I recently announced that I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and we really appreciate any help with that. Now, there's a reason this level is hard. We have a lot of blockers to go through on this board. We have chocolate that will grow at us towards the top in this little space we have. We have taking time bombs set at 11. We have licorice locks, which are rather tenacious for how early they're introduced. And we also have one, two, and three layer thick waffles covering most of our jelly towards the bottom of the board, along with a couple cutouts that make these bottom corners really tricky. Uh, so my strategy here is number one, brute force. This is one of those brute force levels you're going to need a lot of firepower, a lot of combos to beat it in 32 moves. But this is also one of those levels where if you don't have a good board to start, you're not going to um, win. You need a bit of luck to begin this level to take out those bombs and a bit of cooperation from the board to make those amazing combos. I would consider this a lucky board because we can make a wrapped candy right off the bat and hopefully I will get a chance to send it off rather than it getting consumed by chocolate. Now one thing I forgot to mention is the chocolate can actually sometimes help us. As you might have seen on the left hand side of the board, the ticking time bombs are kind of like regular candies and the fact that the chocolate can consume them, or in the sense that the chocolate can consume them. And anytime something that's meant to harm us actually helps us, that's a win but we still need to get rid of the chocolate. So I'm gonna do that next. I'm going to look for a way to send off that wrapped candy, even though the board doesn't wanna give me a way, but it will give me a reshuffle and I welcome that. And apparently in that reshuffle, all the bombs got taken care of, okay. I think another one got consumed by chocolate and then the others linked in the reshuffle, all right. So that was kind of weird. But we don't have to worry about those threats anymore. And now I will have no regrets for unleashing everything upon the chocolate to get rid of it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take out all orange. It's going to concentrate the colors down and it did remove all of the chocolate for me. Um, and, oh, actually no, I missed the one on the left. But we can take it out now, there we go. And now that the board is more open, it's gonna be easier for us to make specials as evidenced by the fact that we have another color bomb, several wrapped candies. I don't wanna send off this combo quite yet. I wanna remove some waffles, trying to get more orange down below, then go for that color bomb wrapped combo. I could make another color bomb with the red. I think wrapped candies are gonna be more effective though. Sinking down the board. Man, we are getting a lot of wrapped candies here. All right, I'm almost ready to uh, use this color bomb wrap combo. Make another stripe and another color bomb for the purple. That happened a little quicker than I expected. And this is a risk, but I'm going to be willing to take that risk. I'm gonna take out all green and hope that, all right, all right and hope that that combo stays. Now we have a lot more orange. That's gonna help us even more. This should really help with these bottom corners. They're the only areas left that we have to worry about. Just a little bit of waffle. And we still have 14 moves, so I think we're going to be good. Let's see. Stripe candy form with the green, take out a waffle. Take out the last waffle and send that stripe off. Ah, beautiful cascading. Let's take out all red. I'm not going to wait this time. We're down to only three jelly. And ranged attacks are also quite effective. Horizontal stripes down below. I can send that off. Wow, I'm getting so many other specials here, but I'm just gonna send that off. And take out all 
green with another ranged attack. All right. So that's how we beat level 494. This is a hard level. This was my first try with what I consider to be a lucky board, but I will tell you that I've played this level before. The first time round, it took me several tries to get right. Usually I would wind up dying right at the beginning. Once I got past that, I usually was able to beat the level. So if you're stuck right at the beginning dying from those bombs, consider bringing in Striped and Wrapped or a Color Bomb. If you can get down to the end but are missing a few in the corners, then bring in Fish. They are very helpful right in the end game because they become part of the candy mix. If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any other level of the game, leave your comments below. I will try and help you with that in a separate video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.